and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are already part of the family for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kiara Selena I am a licensed practical nurse and on my channel I mainly make nursing related videos but we also do a bit of beauty and hair on this video I wanted to talk about why you should seriously consider becoming a nurse for those of you who have been thinking about it I hope this video can give you guys the last push because there are a lot of perks to nursing let's get into the video reason why you should seriously consider becoming a nurse is because you can get it done fairly quickly so there are several options you can choose from you can either choose a four-year bachelor's degree you can either do a two-year RN or associate's degree in nursing or if you live in the States you can become a licensed practical nurse in as little as one year year so you don't have to spend your entire adult life um you know trying to become a nurse you don't have to spend years and years and years in nursing school if you don't want to you can get it done fairly quickly the thing i also want to add is that if you go for the lpn route first a lot of hospitals will actually pay for you to go back to school to get your rn so if you know that you are just trying to become a nurse as quickly as possible so that you can start making money but that your ultimate goal is to becoming an rn you can actually go to lpn school first become an lpn work for a bit and then you can go to rn school free of cost because the hospital will cover it for you. I want to add on to that is that you can get a job as a CNA or you can become certified or qualified to work as a CNA only a couple weeks into nursing school. So you don't have to go to CNA school and then go into nursing school. If you're already into nursing school, all you have to do is wait, I think two, three weeks, um, the first set, the first couple of weeks of nursing school, and then you will be certified to work as a CNA. And then you can start working as a CNA and make some extra money on the side while you're in nursing school if that interests you I want to talk about is the taboo subject and that is money paper okay dollar a lot of people try to act like you shouldn't go into nursing for money it's you know all about the patient you should you know just do it because you care about taking care of people and that's all good and well okay like yes 100% but nursing school is way too stressful and way too challenging for us to not want to get paid for the work that we put in to even become nurses okay so yes money you will get paid like you're going to get paid and it doesn't matter what route you take um from wh where i live um lpn start at around fifty thousand dollars a year the lowest i've heard of in the states is around forty five thousand dollars a year but it can start at forty five thousand dollars a year and depending on your degree because there is so there's like a huge ladder when it comes to nursing. There's LPN, RN, bachelor's. There is, you can become a, a family nurse practitioner or FNP if you get your master's. And with even with a master's, you have a whole bunch of different options that you can choose from. You can get a PhD in nursing and you can even become a nurse anesthesiologist, which for those of you who don't know, is very similar to an anesthesiologist. And they make well above $100,000 starting off. Now, obviously you can't just go straight Straight into nurse anesthesia school they will ask you to have like previous or prior nursing experience and at least I think a minimum of a master's or a bachelor's degree but you will start at around fifty thousand dollars and you can go all the way up to one hundred twenty one hundred sixty thousand dollars a year depending on what route uh, or how far you choose to go in your nursing career and even though the starting salary for an LPN is about one hundred I mean fifty thousand dollars a year that doesn't mean that you have to make fifty thousand dollars a year you have um, the opportunity to work overtime you can have multiple jobs and i've heard of lpns making around 70 to eighty thousand dollars a year because they wanted to put the work in so if you're willing to put in the work you can make well over fifty thousand dollars as a licensed practical nurse and like i said you can get that done as in as little as one year. The reason why you should consider becoming a nurse is because of the diversity in the medical field. You do not have to work in one place. You will never be bored as a nurse. If you start off on a cardiology unit, it doesn't mean that you have to stay in cardiology. You can go into neurology if you choose. You can do OR, you can do med surge, you can do orthopedics, you can work in peds, you can work in labor and delivery. And even if you don't wanna do something in the hospital, you can do residency and if you don't really like working with the elderly guess what if you're into beauty skincare and things like that you can become a nurse esthetician so you literally have 
a million options to choose from as a nurse and that's just really good so if ever you get tired of working in one place you can look into working at another place there is an abundance of options there's a huge 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 amount of options for you to choose from as a nurse one is for my people who love to travel the next reason why you should consider to become a nurse is because you actually have the option to travel as a nurse if you choose to become a travel nurse right so companies hospitals will pay for you to go to another place a place outside of the area that you live in to nurse there if there is a shortage and most times they will pay for your board your flight your room your everything most most times everything will be covered for travel nurses so you literally have the opportunity to travel go somewhere new do what you love get paid well for it and guess what on top of that you have nothing to worry about because everything is paid for for you and travel nurses make they make money why you want to consider becoming a nurse is because of the flexibility not only in school but also in the workplace when you actually become a nurse so let me explain let's say you have kids or i don't know you really really cannot devote or sacrifice all the time into going into nursing school because you have a house to take care of you have bills to pay and there's just no way there's just no way you could go to school and not work or work less right well a lot of schools offer the option to do schooling online at your own time at your own pace so for example me I'm about to start my bachelor's in nursing very, very soon. And um, they give me a minimum of three years to do it and a maximum of seven years. Now, I don't know if there's any schools out there that offer like an indefinite amount of time for you to get it done, but the school that I'm going to is between three and seven years and I can work at my own pace. So let's say, you can't afford to go to school for eight hours a day because you absolutely have to work. You don't wanna leave your job or whatever. Well, you can do your schooling online go to work and then when you come back home once you've put your kids to sleep or done whatever it is that you have to do you actually can just you know relax in bed listen to your lectures do your assignments and all of that at home at your own pace and also a lot of schools offer um, the night school option so if you just cannot go to school in the day you have the option to go to school at night now i'm not saying that this applies to every state your state may not have this option but a lot of schools do have these options so you may want to look into that flexibility this is the amazing thing about nursing and literally the only reason or probably one of the only reasons why my long distance relationship has been able to survive for this long right a lot of hospitals will be will require for you to at least work one um, weekend on two but for the most part you get to pick your schedule so you pick your availability so what a lot of nurses will do or even nursing assistants um, will do is they will um, work Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then the next week they'll work Friday Saturday Sunday right so I work Monday Tuesday Wednesday this week and then I have eight days and eight days off until I'm required to work again so I would work my Monday Tuesday Wednesday I would go you know take a flight go meet my boyfriend spend a whole week with him and then come back and go to work like nothing ever happened or sometimes I would use my sick days <laughs> I would work Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then I would use my sick days to call off for the following weekend I wouldn't work the following weekend but then um, and then I would get the opportunity to go um, spend 10 days instead of just one week over in Michigan where my boyfriend lives so you have the flexibility to kind of like play around with your schedule and you can even take little trips mini trips in between your shifts um, because you have so many days off a lot of nurses will also maybe do seven days on and then two weeks off so they'll do seven 12 hour shifts in one row in a in a row and then they will take two weeks off and then they can use that those two weeks off for vacation and they're still making the same amount of money so you can play around with your schedule and and, um, get some good time off in between your shifts the why you should consider becoming a nurse is because of job security y'all there's a demand for nurses higher than any other profession out there so that means even if I was to quit my job today I could find another job next by next week if I wanted to and I've done it <laughs> I've actually done it I haven't quit the job that I'm at currently but I applied somewhere I applied at two places last week I got hired at another place and I have two job interviews again so 
literally there is always gonna be job opportunities for you because you are needed everywhere and so if you are unhappy in one place you don't have to stay there and be unhappy you can look for a job apply at other places and you will almost for sure get a job within a two-week span if you put in the work high demand comes benefits because you are so needed and because companies and hospitals know that you can literally pretty much go anywhere and get hired they will give you benefits they will give you well in canada healthcare is free so they don't really cover healthcare like that but there are some things that aren't covered like um dental or you know chiropractor um massage therapy things like that so they will give you um really really good benefits where i can actually go to the spa you guys have seen me go to the spa i can go to the spa and pay out of pocket get a receipt from the spa bring it back to my employer and they will reimburse me and put that money back on my next paycheck right so there are some fun little perks like that and also um even though healthcare is covered, sometimes if you're prescribed a medication, you may have to pay the difference for the medication. If you have insurance with your employer, um, it, that can be covered and you can actually use that on your direct family members. So everybody in my house is covered for medication under um, my, my insurance. So fun little perks like that are really good if i don't know you have i don't know a, a mother or a father who has diabetes or something like that um and they have to get their strips or get their insulin they can be covered under your insurance now i'm not saying that's what it's going to be like for everyone but most hospitals will offer fun little things like that consider becoming a nurse is because of the knowledge i mean i feel like my household is so much safer now that i'm a nurse because i know so much more than i did when i wasn't a nurse so whenever my mom's not feeling well my father or anybody in my house or in my family isn't feeling well i'm able to kind of assess them ask them questions and you know I just feel like I'm able to care for my family better because I have that nursing knowledge so I feel like whenever there's something a little bit sketchy about someone I'm probably gonna be able to detect it faster than anybody else if I wasn't a nurse um, you know I don't know sometimes things happen a little bit too late because you don't have the, the knowledge to catch on to things but because I have those critical thinking skills because I'm a nurse and I've learned all these stuff in nursing school I feel like I'm able to care and protect for my family my family a lot better and I'm able to catch on to things that they may not be able to catch on to because they're not in the medical field in the medical field and I'm able to save lives pretty much not only in the hospital but just in my family or just wherever I go because of um, these eyes these new set of eyes I like to call it because literally you have a new set of eyes you see things a lot differently um, as a nurse like like I said I can catch on to things that I couldn't catch on to before because I wasn't in the medical field so now that I have these new set of eyes it doesn't matter where I go I can catch on to little things and potentially save lives wherever I go it's kind of like a superpower why you should consider becoming a nurse and this might be a little bit sketchy to some of you guys but connections you don't know who you're going to be caring for one day and I'm gonna tell you guys a little story I have a nurse friend um, a nurse friend that used to work with me and she had a patient who absolutely loved the nursing care that she gave to him and he was loaded 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 and his family loved her and they tried to offer her job opportunities with them while she was at work obviously she had to decline because she was at work but they loved her nursing care so much to the point where they waited for her to finish work and they waited for her and when she was walking out they caught her um, not caught her but they saw her went up to her approached her and they offered her almost double what she was making in the hospital to work with them privately at home so now she basically works with them she cares for this person um, at his huge 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 mansion and she gets paid extremely 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 well and whenever they travel and stuff they take her along so she gets to do a bit of traveling and stuff as well and she gets all these really fun perks and stuff because like i said this family is loaded so I'm not saying that you you know you're gonna meet some kind of millionaire who's gonna just rescue you and take you away and give you all this money or whatever and you really shouldn't be I mean 
technically you really shouldn't be taking anybody's numbers or anything at work but like i said she didn't she um they waited for her to finish work and then they spoke to her and now she's making all this money and even though it's not necessarily the correct thing to do or even though you quitting might be a little bit annoying to your employer just because something hurts somebody's feeling or inconveniences someone else doesn't necessarily mean that that's not the right thing to do right when opportunity calls opportunity calls especially when it's an opportunity you know you're not gonna get somewhere else you, know, you better take that risk you get it better take that risk and make that bag it for my 10 reasons why you should consider becoming a nurse if there's anything that i missed and you guys want to add please add them down in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to like and share and if you want to see more content like this please hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so you will be notified whenever i post another video for now that's it and i really hope to see you guys in my next one bye